Hey YouTube, I'm doing a quick brief video real quick. Um, I bought this uh, CNC machine, 6040. Now, the machine itself is built awesome. It's, it's very well made. I'm very, very happy with it. But I have a problem. I ordered it from a company on eBay called Motor Dash Mall. Motor Mall. They're a Chinese company. Um, I've been arguing with them ever since I got this thing. Everything has been hooked up correctly. I have checked everything. I've rewired it, swapped the wires on the spindle motor, everything, just to see if I could get it run. I got the spindle to spin once, and then it errored out, and it has done nothing but error out. There is something wrong with this variable frequency drive. If anybody knows knows the solution to this, let me know as soon as possible because I'm fixing to buy another variable frequency drive, and I'm going to make them pay me back for the one that's bad. Anyway, what it does is when you plug it in, whether it's hooked up to the motor or not, you plug it in. Let's take a look. Okay, it's working now, but watch this. We're going to see if this thing is going to fire up this spindle. A minute ago, I plugged it in without it hooked up to the spindle. And it would throw an error code. Give me one second. Okay, got the got it hooked up to the spindle. Gonna plug it in. Watch this. Error four. Every time. I've tried everything there is to know or there is to do with this thing. Well, anyway, now they want to tell me. That it's a bad power wire but i checked it with the multimeter as you can see there they had me unhook the ground to see if that was a problem i unhooked the ground it still throws the error it doesn't matter what i do i tried grounding the motor to the to the unit it still throws the error when i got it to spin the one time it spun and i turned up the volume just a little bit and it threw the error i don't know what it could be this is a 110 volt hunk of junk if anybody knows anything about this please send me a message or something because I'm trying to get this thing running I planned on having it running by now I mean I should have had it running I got this thing in the mail on Tuesday it's already almost Friday this thing should have already been running and cutting parts so one other thing that I'm having a problem with is the control box that big blue box I have a USB adapter hooked up to it, and I can run it through a program called CNC USB. But if I try to run Mach 3 with the parallel cable, it won't respond at all. And I have all those settings exactly as they are in the instructions that were given to me. So, anyway, one thing I'm going to say is Motor Mall does not want to work with you, they will just tell you a bunch of crap send you videos of someone running one of these machines like oh it's this easy it's not hard to hook it up but it should work exactly like i hooked it up because i hooked it up exactly like their video showed before they ever showed me the video so i just thought i'd get this off my chest this is my review i don't know what the name is it's a 6040 cnc but do not buy one from motor mall because motor dash mall they don't want it. They're worried they're going to lose money. Well, they send something out with a defective part. They need to replace the defective part. You know, these Chinese companies need to stop being this way and take care of their customers and just promptly say, we'll have another one out to you. Hell, they can send me a shipping label and a box so I can get this new part in and I can send them the old part back. I don't even mind paying the shipping to send the old part back. But, you know, if I was in their shoes, I wouldn't even make the customer pay the shipping to ship the old part back. I'd make them, I'd pay for it and eat the cost just to keep them happy. Because guess what? They'll come buying from you and then they'll recommend you. But I don't recommend them. Stay away from them. From what I understand, this is the second CNC 6040 that they have sold. They just started selling them because a bunch of other people are selling them. And this is the second one. The first one the guy got, the, the other person got, they said had good luck with it. Well, that's fine. But I was hoping I would get one that I didn't have to replace something. 
if you don't, uh, if anybody knows anything, I'm fixing to buy a new variable frequency drive and probably a new spindle and a new control box for this thing and put another $500 in it to get it running. So, anyway, give me some input on here. I'm trying to make some fidget spinners out of aluminum and brass and I, it's not going to work if I can't get this thing running. kind of makes me mad. Y'all have a good day.